Australian distance swimmer Susie Maroney failed in her attempt to conquer the 90-mile swim from Cuba to Florida last week. Maroney insists she would have made it if those three Cubans hadn't boarded her when she left Havana. <laughs> I know it was you, Fredo. Uh, swimming, <laughs> swimming 90 miles in shark-infested waters. What are people thinking? <laughs> you know, lately I find myself recurringly gripped by an overwhelming desire to smack our entire country upside its collective head. <laughs> now, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but common sense in this country isn't just dead, it's been cremated, and Woody Harrelson is smoking his ashes in his lucky skull bong, all right? <laughs> there is so little common sense today that Thomas Paine is spinning over in his grave so rapidly that they're thinking of hooking him up to a turbine to light the Vegas Strip. <laughs> you can't get to your office in the morning without colliding with some idiot who's trying to spawn upstream onto the elevator while everyone else is trying to get off. You can't get in your car and not run into another idiot who pulls into the gas station with his fuel tank on the wrong side and then has to get instructions from a NASA team at Houston Control to figure out how to maneuver his car so that the tank is on the correct side. And you can't open a paper without reading about a Mondo idiot who gets hurt or killed at a railroad crossing because they had to try and beat the train to get home in time to watch Charlene Tilton salute to porcelain clowns on QVC. <laughs> now, what the fuck has happened to us? A chalk outline is slowly being drawn around common sense and most Americans can't even identify the victim. We've gone from a nation of practical-minded, can-do, Johnny-get-your-guns and Rosie the Riveters to a bunch of sniveling crybabies who can't take it on the chin without running, whining to our lawyers. Christ, we're so bogged down in procedure, we make Radar O'Reilly look like Henry David Thoreau. <laughs> you couple that with a Blanche Dubois-like denial of personal responsibility for the crap in our lives, and it's no wonder we're in a malaise that makes a bout of Epstein-Barr syndrome seem like a Laker girl doing the Watusi after four triple lattes with a Dexatrim chaser. <laughs> you know, there's... There's 800,000 lawyers in our country and many of their livelihoods depend on the fact that we have got no common sense. My theory is that intelligence, like every other resource on this planet, has a finite amount. And as the population increases, the intelligent resource is being stretched thinner than the elastic in Marge Shot's G-string. <laughs> Calls for a roll aid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what was I talking about? Our depleted intelligent resources. For instance, some old lady burns herself on a cup of coffee at McDonald's and sues for $3 million because it's not her fault. And she wins. She wins. We have trouble convicting people who actually confess to murder, but this woman is able to take three mil off McDonald's. If the judge had any common sense, the trial should have gone like, oh, will the plaintiff please rise? Yeah, it is your fault. You're stupid. Coffee is supposed to be fucking hot. Now get out of my courtroom, you stupid, stupid woman, and take that pinstripe parasite Shapiro with you. Next case. Common sense has been defined as the quality of judgment necessary to know the simplest of truths. Well, nowadays, simple truths are cited about as often as Mary Hart on Crossfire. In the last 20 years, <laughs> in the last 20 years, we seem to have completely lost the ability to obey the natural laws around us. We no longer recognize things that are shockingly wrong anymore. We can't tell up from down, right from left, absolutely 100% not guilty from double murdering scumbag guilty. And we are getting stupider. Are we stupid or are we always this stupid? When I watch these TV evangelists on late night cable channel 666 and see, and see the stadium full of people giving hard earned money away to some 
chrome head, sweat covered, barking con man, dangling eternal salvation in the front of these poor bastards like a leash in front of a chihuahua with one kidney. Well, I am shocked at our lack of common sense, clearly. This crook on TV couldn't be more full of shit if he were a porta potty at the Lollapalooza Festival. <laughs> uh, two... <clears throat> now, to many people, the government is the main foundry of not know how, turning the raw ore sent to it by votes and tax dollars into cold rolled sheets of incompetence, which are then used in every aspect of our societal infrastructure. Reports on reports of subcommittees of commissions create a sea of paper that could float Rush Limbaugh's butter dish. All in all, practicality has about as much chance of being served by the federal government as a loud Texan does by a French waiter. Folks, we don't need more government. We don't need more colleges. We need more schools that teach common sense. We don't need any more Einsteins who can tell you the principle of microwave cooking, but can't figure out how to plug one in. I've always said, give someone a fish and they'll eat for a day. Teach someone not to run a bass lure through their fucking testicle, and they will be able to fish for the rest of their life. Where does common sense come from? It's slapped into the back of our head by your mother when you try and touch the hot stove. It's the old Oldsmobile crest branded onto your forehead for all of eternity because you didn't want the seat belt to wrinkle your new shirt. <laughs> Common sense is what gored you in the ass in Pomplona when you dress up like Topo Gijo and run in front of the bulls down a street that's narrower than Strom Thurmond's mind. <laughs> And most importantly, common sense is knowing when to hit the applause button if you don't have a big closer. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I want to know what you think, America. Give me a call at 1-800-LACTOSE. 